Welcome back to CU TV News Center. I'm Zach Prosbo with your sports report. The Vulcans were riding high from a big Week 1 victory over Virginia State, but the Vulcans must quickly put that behind them as they hit the PSAC part of their schedule, with crossovers counting this year in the revamped PSAC conference scheduling. For the first matchup, the Vulcans take on the 21st-ranked Bloomsburg Huskies at Redmond Stadium. You see there the captain's meeting at midfield before the game gets going. Right here, Cody Nuzzo setting the record books, 33rd career field goal, making him the all-time leader in field goals made. Later in the first half, late in the second quarter, Andrew Surratt not able to fall on the bouch snap. Matthew Dundor able to recover it for a touchdown for Bloomsburg, making it 7-3 going into halftime. Bloomsburg would add another score, but right here, James Harris, a fade pass to Des Green, the tall tight end, able to come down with it, make it a four-point game again late into the third. Right here, though, Bloomsburg going to answer back midway through the fourth. Eddie Mateo taking it from a couple yards out, making it 21-10. But the Vulcans would not go away. Down 11 right here, 25 yards out. James Harris finds Kawan Scott in the back corner of the end zone making it 21-18 with the two-point conversion. And then Cody Nuzzo, 50 yards out, a school record and personal record, ties the game, sends it to overtime. Unfortunately, the Vulcans would not succeed in overtime as they fall 24-21 with the loss. The Vulcans fall to 1-1 on the season and 0-1 in the PSAC. Leading the offensive charge for the Vulcans was quarterback James Harris, who passed for 252 yards, 200 of which came in the second half. On the defensive side, linebackers Branko Busick and Spencer Lynn each tallied double-digit tackles. And Cody Nuzzo, of course, made the 50-yarder to tie the game and also broke the school record for all-time field goals made at 34. And although California was not able to pull out a victory, the spotlight still shone bright on one specific player for the Vulcans. With so many accomplishments to his name and proving to be clutch in recent years, I had a chance to talk to Vulcan kicker Cody Nuzzo on his career at Cal as well as the season ahead. Um, well, I knew as soon as I hit it that it was it was going to be on target. Um, I was just hoping I had the distance. Um, I don't know if I've ever kicked a ball quite as good as I've hit that one. So it was probably a good time for my best my best field goal ever. Though the 50-yarder may be the best kick of Nuzo's career, he also has 33 others to lead all kickers in Cal history, as well as a personal favorite. We've had a few All-Americans here as kickers. Um, and so I've looked up to them and I've been mentored by a few of them. And uh, so it means a lot to be able to set a new benchmark and uh, hopefully we'll continue to have a good season and get that number even higher. Probably the cold bowl kick, um, just because I missed an extra point, you know, a few seconds earlier and then Coach Keller had the confidence to call me out to take another kick and I was able to come through for him. Although the loss hurts the Vulcans, Nuzo is still highly confident in his team, which he is now a captain of during his senior year. We, we definitely don't give up like there's been in some past where if we get down, we kind of just let it, let it go. Uh, but this team has a lot of fight, and um, we have a high-powered offense too, and I, I know in the weeks coming up we'll get that going, and uh, we're going to start putting up a lot more points. Uh, as much as I like taking field goals, I like extra points even better because that means we're, we're scoring a lot more points. So, um, yeah, I think, you know, this week, especially playing Shippensburg, they have a high-powered offense, so it's, it's probably going to be a shootout, and uh, hopefully we'll get some touchdowns. Vulcans hit the road again this coming week to take on a team formerly of the PSAC West, the Shippensburg Red Raiders, who are currently 2-0. If you are unable to make the trip with the Vulcans, live radio broadcast will be available on WCAL 91.9 and tape delay coverage on CU TV, which will air next Monday at 6 and Tuesday at 4. Making the transition from football to football, CU TV was able to cover their first women's soccer game of the season against the IUP Crimson Hawks in a matchup of PSAC rivals looking to make early strides in the conference standings and gain the all-important three points for a victory. Cal and we'll see here Cal and IUP sent up at midfield before the opening pitch. Cal would get the first goal. Chelsea Crockett able to put it in the back of that, make it 1-0 about 12 minutes into the game. Later in the second half, off a corner kick from Aaron Hogan. Crockett puts in the back of the net again, making it 2-0. That would be the score going into halftime. You see a couple big saves. One right here from goaltender Prince of IUP, stopping another Cal shot. And Vladek for IUP, going just wide on a free kick. And, it, and then right here, nice save by Megan Jays, who would end up with a shutout as Cal U would go on to win 2-0. They would end up holding on to their early lead with a 2-0 victory to gain three more points in the PSAC standings. 
Leading the way was Chelsea Crockett, who recorded two goals, which gives her five career multiple goal games. Also standing out was goaltender Megan Jays, who recorded her first shutout of the season in which the Vulcans were victorious. So guys, we're going away from Cal Topics, Derek Jeter starting his last home stand with the Yankees this weekend. Going to be big. See one of the all-time greats retire. Derek Jeter is one of the biggest class acts in Major League Baseball. I'm proud to say I saw his 3,000 hit live at Yankee Stadium. I'm really excited to get to see him go out on a good note, especially since his very last game is going to be with the Red Sox. That'll be a fantastic matchup for his last game. Yeah, I have to give respect to the all-time leader in hits for the Yankees, number two. Absolutely. Thank you, Zach. And Jen, um, we already talked about the fall weather, but besides the weather, what's one thing you look uh, most about fall? For me, it's bonfires and s'mores. Just that nice, cool weather, getting to sit outside and enjoy it with a bunch of friends in the warmth of the fire, but still have really good food. <laughs> One of my favorite things, I also like it, to wear hoodies now, and also pumpkin spice lattes at Starbucks. And that will do it for this week's edition of News Center. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel at CUTV News Center for the latest video and full newscasts. Thanks for watching and have a great week.